Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of Breaking the Mold, where today there are no bands, no skinny jeans, no crazy hair. It's just myself and a music industry professional. Her name is Tiffany Ming. She's the Warp Tour Pit Reporter, and it's going to be a four-part episode today where she's going to talk all about the music industry, and basically she's going to give us a bunch of advice um, on how to try and make it. So, Tiffany, thank you for coming in today. Thanks for having me. All right, how are you? I'm good. It was a long drive to get here, but I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so why don't you explain to everybody where you actually came from today? I came from Bristol. It's half in Virginia and half in Tennessee. It's like 10 hours away. But yeah, it's the middle of nowhere. Actually, the drive up here looks like the drive down there. So there's not a lot going on down there either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's, that's a really intense drive, so once again, thank you for, for coming out and everything like no that. No problem. Um, so first thing is first, why don't you kind of um, explain, before you, you started working in the industry, before you went to college, how did you first get into music? I probably first got into music when I was 14, is when I first started going to shows, and I had a lot of older friends who would loan me CDs, and I would get into all this stuff, and I remember I first went to Warped Tour when I was 14, and as soon as I went in, I saw the stages, I saw just the sea of merch tents and all these people were so excited and all the kids there were kids just like me who were super pumped and just they couldn't be anywhere else in the world but there and I was like I know I have to get into this. I didn't know how I was going to do it and I didn't know what I was going to do but I knew that it was something that I really really wanted to be a part of and as soon as I, the Ataris were the first band that I saw that I mean they played at 1130 I literally walked in and ran to the stage and I'm on the barrier watching them and I listen to them forever and as soon as they're playing that first song, it's just the way that I felt like it felt so right, I guess. I knew that I wanted to somehow have kids, give kids that feeling that I had. So that's pretty much where it started from. And from there on out, it was just hectic and trying to figure out everything that we could do. When I was 15, I got a friend, Will, we started our own music blog which is funny because that's what I do now, but we were going to local shows and doing reviews and I was taking some pictures and it was a super local, super grassroots, like having our friends in high school check it out. It's pretty much all that was and it just kind of sprung from there. So let's do, let's do a little bit of a timeline right here. So if you said you were, you said you were 22, yeah. right? And that was, you were 14, so 22 minus 14 is eight. So that means yeah. that <laughs> So Long Astoria was out by then or was it San Dimas that was? I think I don't think so long a story was out yet. I think that was 03, right? Yeah. Wow, that predates me. Cause like I'm I don't know. Old. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Kind of. It feels weird when you go to Warped <laughs> Tour and like you're like, oh man, like I'm so excited to see like Bayside and all these bands that you know have been around for a while, and then you see like all these like 12, 13, 14 year old girls are like broke inside and stuff, and like it's like the new generation of music. Yeah, I felt like when I kept going to Warped Tour because I've been going ever since then, and every time I go, I'm like. These kids are just getting younger, but really I was just getting older yeah. and still going. So it was a weird, t and, and you know, it's like, oh, I'm so tired of all these kids like getting in front of me, but you know, I was that kid too. So I can relate to them. So it's cool. So you were talking about how, you know, at 14, 15 years old, you were really, you know, you were going to Warped Tour and now you're working for it. Yeah, it's really crazy that Kevin Lyman and what he did was everything that started my whole life I guess and now I'm working directly for him and he pays me and it's bizarre and meeting him for the first time was just unreal because I didn't know what to say I was super flustered I was avoiding eye contact and it turns out he's a really cool guy and he was really excited to have me on and really wanted to see what I could do there's no pressure right no cool. <laughs> no 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 pressure at all right <laughs> so um let's let's kind of move along a little bit here so you 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 doing all this stuff the the blog and everything like that and and the and the music zine and everything for your high school so now let's talk about after high school what did you do after high school um I, first after after that blog i'd met up with a local band they were called k1 royal one of my best friends like forever was in that band and i basically did everything i could to help them i kind of managed them i booked shows and then that got me looking into more concerts i was ordering their merch and that got me on track of doing more for bands. So I was like, oh, this, you know, I totally could do this. And when I got, and I graduated and I got to college, we actually had a music industry program at JMU. So I got to take classes and I got to learn, you know, book wise, I got to learn about royalties and all that broken down without somebody else, you know, not having to learn it when I was out there, which is really cool to have the opportunity to learn it then. So 
from there, I ended up starting a company called Shark Sandwich Media with one of my friends, Philip. And we were planning on booking this huge festival. But the very first thing we did, it was going to be on the music blog. It was going to be going to shows. And we finagled our way into getting a press pass for Warp Tour that year, which was just last, not this past summer that I worked, but the summer before that. I was actually shooting for our music blog that was literally three days old. <laughs> I don't know how we pulled that one off, but that was pretty cool. And then we kept doing reviews and everything. And throughout the rest of college, I got involved with the university program board, which is the board that puts on all of the major concerts. And at first I was a committee member, and then I did the marketing, and the next year I was a director. So I got to book Gym Class Heroes, which ruled. It was basically the highlight of my college career, and I was running the whole committee. and organizing the marketing and promotion and hospitality and I was ordering tickets and got security literally every single aspect that went into booking a 3200 venue and making that show happen I got a say in which was really really cool and that I learned a lot from that experience so a lot of good memories yeah yeah it was, it's been hard but it's been a lot of fun so then what would you say is um, the biggest aspect in terms of working at a college and then um, doing it professionally uh, working through college, I mean, you have the luxury of having a uh, luxury of having volunteers, and you have a coordinator who someone you know they've seen someone else do it before. You kind of have that guidance, and you work with a middle agent who you know works with other students like you. But it's a totally different animal because the money that you're given to work with, your college gives to you to do, and when you're not in the real world, that money that's not being funded in the same way, and you're kind of more on your own when you're out there and the experiences you learn out there are totally, totally different. And you think you know in college, you're like, oh, this is totally the model, this is totally how it works. But anyone who's ever done, he's any played shows at colleges, book shows at colleges, is anything to do, agents, anybody will tell you that the college concert industry is completely different than the regular music and like concert industry. All right, well, Tiffany, thank you so much. When we get back, it's going to be part two. Where we're going to talk about Tiffany as she got onto Warp Tour and got to work in the music industry after college. So stay tuned. This is Breaking the Mold.